Now that we've talked about milk production and mothers who are exclusively pumping, let's shift our focus to breast pumping, milk production, and ways to maintain your milk supply when you're away from your baby regularly. Many mothers wonder how much milk they should expect to pump at each session. Let's begin with factors that can affect milk yield. One factor that affects milk yield is how long it's been since your last breastfeeding or pumping. Time of day is also a factor. Most mothers pump more milk in the morning than in the evening. How much practice you've had with your pump can also make a difference. Your mood can affect milk yield too. When you're relaxed, you're likely to pump more milk than when you're stressed. If your baby is exclusively breastfed and you're pumping a half hour to an hour after a morning feeding, expect to pump about half a feeding. If you're exclusively breastfeeding and you're pumping for a missed breastfeeding, expect to pump a full feeding. How much is a feeding? This varies during the first month of your baby's life. From about your baby's third to seventh day, an average feeding amount is one to two ounces or 30 to 60 milliliters. During your baby's second and third weeks, feedings average about two to three ounces or 60 to 90 milliliters. From about one month to about six months of age, a baby's growth slows. For this reason, feeding volumes stay fairly stable, averaging about three to five ounces or 90 to 150 milliliters. No matter what your situation, knowing how milk production works can help you meet your breastfeeding goals. The more often and more fully the milk is drained from your breasts, the faster your breasts make milk. The opposite is also true. The fewer times each day you breastfeed or pump and the more milk that's left in your breasts, the slower you produce milk. In other words, drained breasts make milk faster and full breasts make milk slower. If you're employed, attending school, or often away from baby for any reason, Something else that's good to know is that between about one month and six months of age, most babies need about the same amount of milk each day. So after one month or so, if you're breastfeeding exclusively and your baby is thriving, you're making about as much milk as your baby will ever need. After this point, all you need to do is keep your milk production steady. At around six months, as babies begin to eat more and more other foods, they need less and less milk. From one to six months of age, at most, babies drink on average somewhere between 25 and 35 ounces, or 750 to 1,000 milliliters of milk per day. At an average breastfeeding, babies older than one month take about three to five ounces, or 90 to 150 milliliters of milk. If you'll be away from your baby for part of the day, you can decrease the amount of milk your baby needs while you're away by breastfeeding more when you're together. For every extra breastfeeding, your baby will need three to five ounces or 90 to 150 milliliters less expressed milk that day. If your milk production begins to drop before your baby starts solid foods, there are many ways to boost it. First, think about your daily routine. Have your daily number of milk removals by the baby and the pump stayed stable over time? Are you breastfeeding less when you're at home? Are you pumping less at work? If so, you can make milk faster by breastfeeding or pumping more times each day. What's your longest stretch between milk removals? If it's longer than about eight hours, shorten it. Remember, full breasts make milk slower. Also, your flange fit can change over time. If your nipples are rubbing on the sides of the flange tunnel during pumping, you may pump more milk with a larger size. Either before or during pumping, 
Try gentle breast massage. Some mothers find this can boost their milk yield right away. Talk to a breastfeeding specialist about other ways to speed milk production.